so students in this module we will discuss the common features in number of different no sequel products what makes a product a no sequel so there are certain characteristics which we'll be discussing in this module so here is the module coverage so no sequel databases are what you see schema agnostic they are schema agnostic and they are not normalized not normalized means that they are denormalized i will discuss more about it and of course they work on commodity hardware so what is commodity hardware commodity hardware are inexpensive machines which don't cost a lot but collectively they can process and they can store lots of data which an expensive machine can do so they are not very specific machines for specialized use so they are not expensive and no sequel databases are highly distributable it means that the processing is done over disparate servers which are displaced which are located at other places and of course there are many benefits for this so denormalization which i'll go into more detail is undoing the normalization so if you go to uh, the course cs614 there are lots and lots of details about denormalization so let's now go into more details about schema agnostic feature of the uh, no sequel so unlike the relational databases for no sequel databases you don't have to worry about the schema of the database as a matter of fact the schema is not required so you can just populate the database of course the type of data is different different as compared to the relational model you populate the no, no sequel database and then you tweak it and then you enhance it later so your work is not restricted by first designing a schema and then doing all sort of things you can just start populating the no sequel database no schema at the read time it means that when you write the query of course the query is it different in the context of no sequel but when you write the query then you need to know then you what should be you doing so read to know means read time that at the time of retrieving the data okay you know have to you you need to know what the schema is before that you don't need to know it and as a as a benefit it reduces the development time because if there are any changes in the database with reference to any change in the processing of the data or the process of the business there is no detailed rearchitecting which takes a lot of time lot of resources and then of course uh, it is a hurdle it reduces the processing and schema alteration can be done on the go without shutting down the database uh, alteration can be done into the schema so these are of course there are some exceptions which are in the notes so this is one aspect common feature of all no sequel databases next they are non relational non relational means that in the classical relational database model we try to remove the duplication from the processes from the tables okay duplication of the data which results in low maintenance and high performance but that is for a different type of application when we say denormalized data storage it means that the data will be replicated and this will be done by design and the purpose is to get performance without without doing the joins we take lot of time okay and the inter record relationships are not stored okay now this is a flexibility this is a flexible because if those relationships are, are are stored okay that makes the system rigid and when those relationships are separated i run a query which looks across those relationships then i need to perform a join and that join reduces the performance goal is not normalization some data is replicated 
not all the data is replicated some data is replicated when the benefit of data replication is obvious when you replicate the data then of course you don't have to go to this table and this table and left and right to get and collect the data multiple data views by denormalization multiple data views and it increases the storage space because you are replicating the data and you are making different views of the data of the data which you have and these are denormalized views denormalized views and of course uh, the no sql databases run on a distributed commodity hardware now this hardware instead of a large single server okay which has to process hundreds and thousands and maybe more twitter tweets and facebook posts okay you have the flexibility of working with commodity hardware it's not very cheap but of course it's cheaper than specialized hardware so it costs like 10000 us dollars and there are multiple such machines and of course when this this data is replicated across those machines then those machines can crash they can burn they can get out of the system but there is which is called as graceful degradation of the application it does not just shuts down so these are some of the benefits or you can say the common things which are there in a no sql database that's all i have for this module